Jurassic Shark. When I see the movie Jurassic Shark, I'm thinking, what the heck, man? Why are you parodying Jurassic Park? But, you know, I thought I would watch it anyway. Now, there are two Jurassic Sharks. There's one made by the adults, and then one there's made by kids by this movie channel named Lord Starscream 100. I'm going to be reviewing both. Uh, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, and then I'm going to compare them to see which one is better. So, without further ado, let's get started. Shall we? And uh, I really can't wait to play it. And welcome to a new Let's Play series. about is about this weird drilling company that is drilling deep too deep and accidentally wakes up this ginormous megalodon shark the shark decides to hate everyone will eat anyone that gets in the water these two girls decide to go in the water with probably the worst splashing effects I've ever heard So yeah, this has pretty much the prologue of the whole movie. So a bunch of thieves decide to steal this painting and transport it somewhere. So they pretty much decide to leave with the painting and awkwardly they decide to leave their car boot open. Wait a minute, back it up. That guy's wearing blue. <laughs> this guy's wearing blue. He actually could have found something black to wear. How much worse can this get? A bunch of college students decide to come here to do some kind of project about who knows what. Hey, that's my journalism class. If I can expose illegal drilling, I'm a shoo-in for the internship at SMU. Yeah, let's load up. And they also do leave their car boots open. Yeah, so the thieves are pretty mad that they lost their painting, and they decide to go out there. Well, that didn't work. So the college students are in the boat and they try to row away and this guy is awkwardly smiling. So anyway, they wash up ashore and the girl is in completely dry shorts. Yeah. They meet up with a gang of thieves and they decide to go for, mm, let's just say, they decide to go for a little walking. And more walking. And yep, more walking. I'm sorry, guys. Man, this is boring. They find the factory and find the scientist dude still alive. And so, so basically, the the thieves, the thieves are basically, yeah, they decide to turn on them. 
So yeah, they send the scientist dude to go retrieve their painting. But of course, once he decides to get in, I think you can tell what happens next. <laughs> Well, the girls escape, and uh, then everything just starts to get really slow and dramatic. So yeah, one of the guys that's going after them finally decide finally catches them. You can kind of tell what's going on next. So yeah, she draw they draw one of the girls inside of the uh, water, and uh, yeah, it's it's like so dramatic here. I I only don't know what to say about this. Well, that's all right, because then this happens. Don't do that again. Yeah, this guy awkwardly fails at throwing TNT. And then this guy dies as... Yeah. What bad animation. I mean, seriously. Sharknado was better. And then, the, and then the shark decides to show who's boss and just completely flips itself out of the water and chomps on the final thief. There we go, finally. Oh. So yeah, they used the last TNT to finally kill the shark. Oh. Yay, at least it's finally over. Oh dear, no! Please don't let there be a sequel! Now it's time for what my intake on this movie. OMG, Sharknado was about a hundred times better. Seriously, this movie is bet is worse than Two-Headed Shark Attack or any of those other dopey movies. Seriously, this is literally the worst shark movie I've ever seen. It had horrible acting, horrible shark CGI, horrible everything, horrible story. Ah, I'm going to give this movie a 0 0.5 out of 5. Well, now it's time to see the kid version movie, The Other Jurassic Shark. The movie starts out with a bunch of credit stuff that's talking about how this movie was made and a bunch of stuff they want to thank. And I actually kind of appreciate that. A little interesting. So the movie starts out at an engine technology department and it's pointing at their basement. Yeah, kind of cool Jaws music, I kind of like it. So yeah, there's this weird thing in the garage that starts moving all of a sudden. And like, it starts to begin violently moving with accompanied by sinister Jaws music. So yeah, finally someone from the outside world decides to come in and yeah, well, the Jaws music continues to go and uh, yeah. Oh, finally the lights. So apparently this engine company made this robotic shark that is can fly, which is kind of cool. And so pretty much for no apparent reason, the guy unbuckles the locks that are holding the shark down and releases him off into the wild. Look at the look at this thing. It's really well done, I must admit, but dang, I mean, seriously, this thing looks kind of weird. Yeah, 
had to give them a hand. They did a good job on the shark. So yeah, they then cuts to a walking trail where this moron is taking a video of who knows what. This kid grabs his camera and decides to, well, you guessed it, take a video of the shark slowly stalking him. Oh no! There goes the kid! Oh well. So, these kids decide to team up and try and hunt and kill the robot shark. So they decide to call up this kid, Dan, on his bike, and he tells them to go find this other kid named Drake Matthews, who's apparently going to help in the hunt. So he ends up finding Dan with no apparent reason. So then this other kid decides to show up and, I guess, help out with the hunt. So when the actual day of the hunt comes, it, of course, gets stormy. That's pretty much my day at the beach. No, no, it's too, too windy and I'm afraid that I might start pouring. My kid, it hurt. Well, this other kid is really, really mad that the hunt isn't going and they decide to have a meeting about it. I don't know how a meeting is going to help with the weather, but okay. Oh, and then this dude shows up out of absolutely nowhere. In fact, even the people who made this are even, are even like, questioning it. So then the big main kid decides to show off his badass guns. Finally, the hunt is beginning and the shark is going to be finally featured in this film again. I was wondering when that was going to happen. So, Dan Bruins, Chase Landon, and Drake Matthews are decided to go on the walking trail and hunt the shark. Luckily for them, they didn't find the shark. The shark found them. So then there's this big, really awesome music compilation, a giant action scene, where the shark decides to climb up a hill near them and, uh, well, fight them. If it could get through the tree. Ooh, popcorn. Who does not enjoy homemade popcorn watching this movie? Mmm. Oh, yeah. Come on, people. I'm going to have a quick popcorn break, and then I'll be back with the video. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Let's get back to the review. So after Dan runs off to find help, they decide to go off and follow Dan and try and find him again and get to get more help to continue the hunt. Oh yeah, now there's finally a hunt. Now they teamed up with a whole bunch of new people, and they decide to go on a real hunt the next day. So apparently a bunch of the other kids decided to go hide in the woods and try and find them for a few days. Who knows how they found food. I wonder where their kids' parents are on this whole thing. So they decide to split them up into groups and they go and hunt off the shark to try and find it. Looks like the splitting up idea was great because they ended up finding the shark. If they could keep up with it. So they cuts over to these other kids who have been hiding off in the woods and pretty much they're con they're pretty much explaining what's going on and stuff. We should just stay here. They're talking about how they wish they saw the shark and be able to get it. Luckily for them, the shark found them. So they go off and try and do a separate hunt off the bang group, and luckily, oh 
they found the shark first. So they continued their hunt a little bit on more, and unfortunately for Jeff, the shark mauls him to death. So the rest of the big main group decides to group together and figure out ideas on how to destroy the shark. They decide to go off and split up and try and find the shark because splitting up would cover more ground. There's that classic step on the stick and, you know, makes a sound, you know, alerts the other creature scene, of course, that you see in every single movie. Probably one of the most overused cliché in all of history. So the group continues going on. Fortunately for the shark, it decides to go eat Anna. Unfortunately for the group, they've lost another member. Fortunately for him, the shark finds him. Unfortunately for him, the shark completely mauls him to death. They decided to continue the hunt a little bit more, and yet again, another jump scare encounter by the shark. And then at that point, Billy Trenton decides to make his big entrance and totally shows the shark who's boss. So he goes looking for another kid and, oh, looks like Dan got killed off screen. So they decide to go on another hunt even though Dan is dead. The shark decides to climb onto Billy's arm and, yeah, get some blood in there. Billy knocks the eye off the shark, and the shark leaves after that. Chase decides to get revenge on the shark by putting a really awesomely made, mealy shark cage in the middle of the forest. Mmm, Jaws reference. Cool. Chase decides to make some noises and, to, and make angry taunts about the shark to attract it. Fortunately for Chase, it surprisingly works. Unfortunately for Chase, the, sharks get, the shark gets really, really mad and decides to completely destroy the cage. So Chase decides to go back into the woods with some pretty badass mu music. Oh, sorry. Let's get back to the movie is pretty beaten up from the injuries on the cage, so it makes it Chase's attack pretty easy to do. The shark, the shark breaks his stick, his only weapon, and mauls up his arm pretty good. Chase is really mad and decides to go for his final attack on the shark. Chase dodges, dodges the shark's attack and... It severely injures and pretty much short circuits the shark. Chase decides to randomly hang off a cliff while the shark continues to go crazy and die.
and the shark is finally killed in the very end. So Chase decides to run off and lets the decaying metal body rot right away in the water and rust till its very end. So they decide to team up with, D with Drake and they decide to walk away into the, well, clear day, not the sunset or whatever it's called. And then at the very end, we get a special sneak peek at Jurassic Shark 2, coming summer 2013. I can only say one word about this movie. Children do a way better job at making movies than adults do. Oh, wow. That movie was way better than the other one. Had a great storyline. The effects were a little cheesy and the shark didn't look the best. But hey, it was way better than the other one. I'm going to give this a three and a half stars out of five. Now, obviously, as you can say, I'm not going, don't please do not take my opinions personally. Go out and see both yourself. This was Ain't Elite 33 here at Metal Adon Films doing this movie review. See you next time. Bye!